Shepherd's Purse is a common and widespread annual weed of cultivated land and bare places generally. It's what's described as an archaeophyte, which is a plant that is thought not to be truly native, but to have certainly been here before 1600, and in the case of Shepherd's Purse, probably for thousands of years before that. It belongs to the same cabbage family as the Lady's Smock, the Crucifers. But here, the plain white flowers are much smaller. And in spite of its limited visual appeal, because of the small flowers, it produces abundant nectar, and it's visited by small hoverflies and the like. And what's surprising, therefore, is that it's usually self-pollinated, which is thought to be an adaptation for more rapid spread in an environment where there's limited variation, but things could change very quickly. We have the characteristic four petals forming the cross that gave the family its older name of Crucifery. The six stamens are arranged in much the same way as they are in Lady's Smock, with the nectaries at the base of the outer two shorter stamens. The ovary is lozenge shaped, but after fertilization this morphs into the highly distinctive purse, a feature that enables you to identify the plant at a glance and to which its common names refer in most European languages. Lausan Sparoin in Irish, Capsel Bursa Pasteur in French, Gemeine Hirten Taschel in German. In parts of Ireland, it was at one time known as Clappity Pouch, from a supposed resemblance to the clapper bell lepers were obliged to sound as they sat begging at crossroads. One of the fascinating features about the seeds, tiny seeds in these little purses, is that they're coated in a layer of mucilage that contains a chemical that attracts small invertebrates, which then become stuck. And when they're stuck, the seed produces a toxin that kills them and enzymes that digest them, so that the seed is then coated in a nutrient-rich layer which promotes rapid germination and quick development. You might think that so inconspicuous a plant, a weed, basically, would attract little human attention, except insofar as it sometimes grows in places where we would prefer other plants to be growing. But you would be wrong. As far back as the Neolithic, the seeds of Shepherd's Purse were gathered as food. In fact, one of the ingredients in the famous stomach of Tolland Man, whom we met when we were looking at knotgrass, was Shepherd's Purse, and it's still gathered as food in several parts of the world. In fact, if you consider it worth the effort, you can pick the leaves yourself, boil them up, and then eat them mixed with other vegetables. And the seeds are an important ingredient in the diet of seed-eating birds, such as finches. In more recent centuries, Shepherd's Purse has enjoyed a valued place in the pharmacopoeia of different parts of the world. It produces a chemical that narrows the blood vessels, thereby restricting the flow of blood. And this underlies its use in a variety of conditions where it's important to, to, to slow the loss of blood or to restrict it. Uh, in the medical tradition of medieval Ireland, for example, uh, this was its main use. But in those Irish herbals, there's also a list of other uses, of which probably the least useful, but certainly the most memorable, is this. A cur for brag in the guerach agus niechid na moctira ear. If you put it under the throat of sheep, the wolves will not be able to see them. 